Hey guys, welcome once again to Twin Flicks, a film channel for film lovers like yourself. I'm Paul, and today we are reviewing a childhood favorite of many who grew up during the 90s. We had Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, and from 1994 were the T-1000 sports a bleach blonde haircut. <laughs> and we also got the poor man's Tom Cruise. We're gonna sweep the floor with your skull. In Double Dragon. Two thousand seven, Los Angeles. The city has changed. Cops rule the day. Punks rule the night. And one man wants to rule them all. There's only one thing he needs to succeed. And look who's got it. Now, two brothers will stop at nothing to protect their half. Look out! T2's Robert Patrick, Scott Wolf, Mark Dacascos, and Alyssa Milano, Double Dragon. You said it. And today we were sent the Blu-ray of the collector's edition of Double Dragon from the MVD Rewind Collection. And we're going to review this baby for you guys. But first, here are the specs of the Blu-ray. Double Dragon comes to the U.S. for the first time on Blu-ray from MVD Rewind Collection with a new HD 1080p transfer and a new Dolby Digital 5.1 surround mix and also the original 2.0 stereo mix. It also maintains the theatrical aspect ratio of 1.85 to 1, meaning yes, the video does fill your entire screen. All right guys, so the video transfer on this is a fair looking video transfer. It is a big step up from the DVD and especially the VHS release with the HD transfer, but it does have its fair share of problems. Certain scenes tend to show artifacts and hairs of some heavy grain levels. I also noticed that some what is called cigarette burns are on the upper part of the screen and very noticeable. There are also some scenes where it looks like I was watching a DVD rather than a Blu-ray. And the obvious green screen effects has a lot of grain on it as well. So you have those problems, but also there are other scenes that look really clean and good. The contrast and saturation levels are low. They're not extremely high or deep, and there's not much colors that pop out aside from some reds and blues here and there. There is a garage yard fight scene about 43 minutes in that actually looked really great. Overall, I cannot blame MVD for this transfer. This is a very cheaply made movie from the early 90s, and the problems are from the age and the type of film stock they used. In the end, this is, as I said, an upgrade from the previous home media versions. And I honestly do think this is going to be the best Double Dragon will look on home media. All right, guys, we just talked about the video transfer. Now, how about the audio? I wanted to bring out something really quick. I have seen some people who have purchased uh, old movies like this from the MVD Rewind Collection, and they assume because it has the stereo mix that that's the version that you should listen to and don't bother with 5.1 mix. I like to tell you guys, reviewing MVD Rewind Collection Blu-rays for quite some time now, that is false. The 5.1 surround mix always, typically always sounds much better than the stereo mix. Well, the audio is the best part of this Blu-ray. I was very impressed by the 5.1 surround sound, but let's first talk about the 2.0 stereo mix. This is a heavily confined stereo mix. It sounds low with not much in the way of audio placement. Dialogue is rather good and clean and crisp. However, I had to keep my home theater receiver up to almost 30 to hear it clearly. The sound effects don't have much punch to it and there isn't much panning between the speakers. Overall, it's a pretty weak audio mix that unless you're just watching this on a TV, it's pretty useless. So now let's dig into the 5.1 surround mix. This sounds great. Surround levels are strong with a lot coming from the rear surround speakers. A lot of ambient sounds such as crowds, people talking, gunfire, explosions, and this musical score 
all sounds awesome and heavily utilizes the surround speakers. There's an explosion at the 48 minute mark that sounds great. It envelops you in the explosion. Dialogue is also great. It's very clean and clear and fixed where it should be in the center speaker. Also, off-screen dialogue is in the left and right speakers. Subwoofer or bass levels are also quite strong with some good rumbling and effectiveness in certain parts of the movie. I found no issues with audio dropouts or distortion. This is a great sounding DTS 5.1 mix. Alright guys, so we talked about the video, the audio transfer. Now, how about the extras? This has a great small set of special features. Here's the lowdown. It includes a brand new making of one hour long documentary with interviews from the writers and other crew. It also includes a brand new interview with producer Dan Murphy, which runs about 24 minutes. And it includes the original 1994 behind the scenes featurette and an original 1994 making of featurette. Another addition on these special features that's awesome. It includes the pilot episode to the Double Dragon animated series. I love MVD for including this on the Blu-ray. And of course, it includes the theatrical trailer and TV spots. All right guys, let's get into those Blu-ray scores. For the video, I'm giving it a three out of a five. As for the audio, 5.1 surround mix, I'm giving a four out of a five. For the 2.0 stereo mix, I'm giving a two out of a five. And for the extras, the special features, I'm giving it a four out of a five. Overall Blu-ray score, a four out of a five. As for the movie itself, I'm gonna give it a score of a three out of a five, but that's mainly based on nostalgia purposes. Guys, Double Dragon is a cheaply made, almost B-movie from the mid 90s. And if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And it shows its age. It's very dated with silly dialogue, badly done choreographed stunts, but it did have some nice looking visual effects. I will give it that. And that's what makes this movie great. But it is a great, fun movie to watch, especially with a group of friends. It's heavy on 90s nostalgia. It brought back a lot of memories from the 90s. For those reasons alone, I recommend picking this up. Double Dragon is now available on Blu-ray from the MVD Rewind Collection and ranges between $24 and $30, depending where you get it, or you can order it at the link in the description. Well guys, that's our review for MVD Rewind Collection of Double Dragon on Blu-ray. As always, I want to thank MVD for letting us review Double Dragon and letting you guys know if it's worth shelling out your hard-earned money to pick up. And I want to give a big thanks to all of you guys out there for watching our videos, for sharing, for liking, for commenting. It truly means a lot to us. We never thought we would reach or grow as much as we have over the past year. We're almost hitting the 2,000 subscriber mark. Thanks guys so much for this. And as a way to give back, we're doing a giveaway. This is a year long giveaway through the entire year of 2019. Each month we'll be giving away a digital code to one subscriber. Guys, if you want more details on this, hit the link at the top of the screen or there's a link down below in the description. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing with your lives? Hit that subscribe button. Become part of the Twin Flicks family, a part of this really cool movie blu-ray film community that we have here i love it and i love you guys to, to join and guys if you are a subscriber or if you just became a subscriber welcome to the family and remember to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when new videos drop once again guys i want to thank mvd entertainment and of course again i want to thank all of you guys out there for supporting our little channel here as always we'll see you in the future